When I work with an amateur choir, I'm acutely conscious that they have made a choice to be there that day. They don't have to be there. They're not earning their living from it. And you have to respect that and to respect the fact that they come with very different backgrounds and experience and skill. And you don't get that with a professional orchestra, for example, because they're all highly skilled, they're all highly trained, they all know the music. Um, with amateurs, that's not the case. But um, something that took me years to learn is try not to be impatient. Because um, if I, for example, joined um, a local computer class, I would be struggling. I'm not terribly good with computers, but I wouldn't want somebody yelling at me, berating me for my inadequacy. And so running an amateur choir, I think, try to raise them up, um, try to keep them cheerful, but be demanding because I don't think anybody comes to a rehearsal to just coast and cruise. I think they're there to try and be better. So try to raise people up. Um, don't talk too much. <laughs> Get on with the job and know the music.